A group of Rangers supporters have handed over a specially commissioned painting of Tom Vallance, one of the most significant figures in the formative years of the club. Andrew Dixon spoke to one of the men, Ian McCall. During the Founders' research um, over the last few years, there was one name that continually jumped out from the history books um, at us, and it was the name of Tom Vallance. After we got the Founders' painting done uh, three years ago um, by artist Helen Lynchman, we thought it'd be a nice touch you know, to, to do much the same as Tom and have him immortalised on canvas. He was, uh, he was very much a, a steadying hand in the early days of the club. The club went through um, a rather traumatic turmoil during the early 1880s. Um, we were staring into the financial abyss and this will begin to sound a little bit familiar now, but Tom um, came back from a business venture in India and um, was voted in as president and very much became, as I say, a steadying hand on the club through, through a traumatic period. So we got together, um, the fellas that helped me out uh, running the Founders Trail, and we thought, as I said, it'd be nice to get Tom onto canvas in place within the stadium alongside his friends here at the top of the marble staircase. What the research recently found, which we thought was really important, was it was always an assumption that the Founders and Tom uh, came together um, when they arrived in Glasgow at the latter end of 1871, early 1872. But we'd actually found newspaper reports that, that showed them uh, competing against each other in the Gaelic Head Games as early as 1867-1868. So that's particular band of brothers were forged on the, the, the shores of the Gaelic, aged 10 and 11. And they came to Glasgow um, also to seek their fame and fortune, as many as many thousands of others were doing, and took up the, the, the game of association football. So Tom and uh, was very much involved with the founders from way before they arrived in Glasgow. Yeah. As I say, Tom arrived in, in Glasgow in 1872 um, he was president, he was captain of the club in 1877 when we went to the first Scottish Cup final. And in 1887, I think it was one of the biggest steps that the club made, moving from Kinnan Park along here to, to First Ibrox. Tom, that was under Tom's stewardship, Tom was president at the time, and he oversaw that happen. As I said earlier on, 1883 the club was in turmoil and Tom came back from India and provided a steady hand. It's incredible to think that as late as 1929, when this magnificent building that we're standing in today was opened, Tom was at the ceremony. And he spoke fondly of the days back at Kinning Park when the players would have to wash in basins of water outside the pavilion because the, 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 the facilities were so cramped. He was also here in 1933 and he sat in the director's box just upstairs there. He was Rangers played Sporting Club of Vienna. Then a couple of years later, unfortunately, he passed away, but his funeral was attended by, by Mr. Struth and players from the Vale of Leading team that he faced in 1877. So that'll give you an indication of how highly regarded Tom Valance was. And from that point of view, it's very fitting that there's now a lasting tribute to him uh, here in the, the Marble Staircase. We are absolutely delighted with that and what a wonderful job artist Helen Runciman has done again. You know, and we've, we've reunited Tom with his friends um, on, uh, on canvas within the stadium and Tom, as we feel, is rightly taking his place at the top of the Marble Staircase. Tom had a flourishing restaurant business. He had another two, at least another two premises within the city centre of Glasgow. But we knew about his club restaurant, which was based at 22 Paisley Road West, Paisley Road Toe area. We couldn't exactly determine where where, where it was due to street numbers, uh, uh, our, our, our premise numbers changing over the years. But we managed to get a hold of a floor plan of the park building which held the club restaurant and it matched perfectly with, with what is currently the Viceroy Bar. And of course the Viceroy Bar um, is a favourite haunt for Rangers supporters pre-match, so that was a really nice touch to, to be able to make that link and get it cemented. The picture was presented to the club during one of the ever popular Founders Trail tours that chart the proud history of Rangers. It was unveiled here at the top of the marble staircase to the delight of the gathered fans. It really was important for us uh, to, to involve as many of the supporters as possible and to be, to, be, to be able to do that at the end of the Founders Trail last Sunday with so many rain supporters been in the building um, and I think it went down really well um, when the, the, the unveiling was done of Tom. We were approached by a supporter um, a number of weeks ago who, who reckoned they, well, they had a painting at home um, with the name T Valance at the bottom of it. Now we knew Tom was an accomplished ar artist um, as well as his restaurant business and being club president and, and, um, and, and captain he was an accomplished artist and we, we do believe that there may be other paintings um, done by Tom's hand out there. So, so this, 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 this supporter approached us and we've, we've since put out an appeal um, with, with a photograph of the painting to see if it can trigger anything with anyone out there, you know, and hopefully this will be another story that's, that's, going, that's going to start to flourish. Because if we could actually confirm that that is a painting by Tom's hand at the same t period of time that the painting's unveiled with an eyebrow, it's, it's, it's a lovely little link, you know.